Hi there, welcome back to Mind Builders Hub and please subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to share and like our videos if you like the content. So for today, we're going to talk about the inner planets. And you know, the inner planets are also known as terrestrial planets or, rock or rocky planets. They are the group of four planets in the solar system that are located closer to the sun than the outer gas giants planets so we have the mercury the venus the earth and the mars and we're going to give the details about their characteristics and some information that you need to know about these planets so when we say again in our planets they are called terrestrial because they are solid in nature they are rock-like and very dense. They are near to the sun. And let's get to know them one by one. First in the least or the most closest um, planet in the sun is the Mercury. In a Mercury, it layers um, made it nearly impossible to see it's in the surface of the earth because of its closeness to the sun mercury is one of the hottest and the coldest of the inner planets hottest when it is facing or the the part is facing the sun and coldest when it's not facing the sun second smallest planet and less than a half to the size of the earth based on the size comparison the surface of mercury has many craters and the craters look like the earth's moon the temperature ranges from 426 degrees celsius during the day and negative 170 degrees celsius at night And, of course, there's no moon in Mercury. Mercury has been explored by spacecraft, including the NASA's Messenger mission, which provided valuable insight into its geolo geology and history. Next in the list is the planet Venus. And as you can see, this is the second planet from the Sun next to Mercury. It is considered to be the brightest object in the sky and considered to be the queen planet of the Earth due to its size and mass similar to the Earth's. Venus is known as the hottest planet due to its atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide. And the surface temperature is 482 degrees Celsius because of its greenhouse effect it uh, it causes extreme temperature on the surface it is considered to be the earth's closest neighbor and the surface has craters fault like cracks and volcanoes and it has no moon additional to venus the planet is known for its thick cloud cover, which obscures its surface from visible light observations. It was explored by the various spacecraft, including the Soviet Union's Venera missions and NASA's Magellan spacecraft. Next to the least is the Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only living planet where life is known to exist. It has abundant liquid water and supports life in atmosphere that supports and protects life. The atmosphere of the Earth burns most meteors before they can reach or they can reach the surface. It has moderate surface temperature that allows water to exist as solid, liquid, and gas. It has one large moon the earth is only known planet to support life 
It has a diverse range of ecosystems, upgradable atmosphere, and abundant liquid water on its surface. It is characterized by its distinct geology, including the continents, the oceans, mountains, and variety of climates. From space, Earth resembles a big blue marble with swirling white clouds floating about blue oceans. And aside from that, 70% of water in the rest is land. It composed of 70% water. Next is the planet Mars, or most often called uh, Red Planet due to its reddish appearance. The fourth planet from the sun. The surface appears reddish yellow because of iron or oxide in the soil and dust. It has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, but it has small amounts of nitrogen and oxygen. It has water in its atmosphere, which is enough to condense and form clouds and fogs. This is how the gas escape or the water vapor escape from the surface of the planet Mars. Next is that Mars surface seems to have been carved by rushing water sometime in the past. Days on Mars are almost the same length as Earth. And Based on its physical appearance or geological appearance on top, it has features that look like shorelines, riverbeds, islands, and reef valleys. And that valley is called the Valleys Mariners. The planet has been a target for exploration with numerous spacecraft, including rovers like NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance, searching for signs of past or present life. Based on the gravity, if we're going to somehow compare the gravity of Mars to the gravity of the Earth, this is what will happen. Mars' gravity is about two-fifth as strong as the Earth. And it has two moons the Phobos and the Deimos. It has the largest volcano in the solar system, and that is the Olympus Mons. So these inner planets share most common or share common characteristics, including the rocky composition, relatively small sizes compared to the gas giants, and the presence of solid surfaces. They are also the subjects for extensive study and exploration with the aim of understanding the process that shape rocky plants, their geology, and their potential for hosting life. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you subscribe. Bye-bye.